Spray paint back at you with another video, man. The other half of it's time for that coach for the street. You back in these YouTube streets as usual, you know what I mean? And this segment, we got to talk about YB, you feel me? YB, Dr. YB, man, look here. They saying that YB in the game will call the pharmacy, use a real doctor's name to get drank. Cash County identified YB as a suspect in the prescription fraud ring. Associates of YB will pick the prescription from various pharmacies. Now, this the thing. I don't even know why will he be the one get up in the mix of them boys de doing dirt, bro. You know what I mean? Like, his team could have did whatever, whenever, but he ain't had nobody, he ain't had no business calling the pharmacy, and he definitely had no business texting them boys if they was communicating about doing that. You feel me? You you supposed to be like P. Diddy in this situation, YB. Your name wasn't supposed to get caught up in this. And they saying that when they hit the house or whatever, and they 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 grab one of the prescription bottles, it has somebody else's name on it. Now they said that these niggas been using official doctor's names. They been using real doctor's names, and they been using uh dead people birth dates and all kind of stuff. But here's the thing, you know when you calling these. Pharmacies, bro, you gotta be real professional. And I'm willing to bet you these niggas wanna talk professional on the phone. Whoever this white guy is on the news or whatever, he recognized it firsthand that it wasn't no doc it wasn't no real doctor because he said the number that called didn't match with the numbers of the doctor who they said they was. So it was just a matter of time. And now I make you think, if y'all can, if y'all can go back with me, when Lil Dunk was on no jumper, when you seen him throwing up, you seen him throwing up on the interview, and I said he was going through withdrawal. So nine times out of ten, you know he he probably was a lean drinker too. Ain't no telling how much drink they was getting, and the charges. Everybody was trying to figure out, like, how in the world this nigga got 63 charges. And the affidavit recommends 63 charges against Gordon, including 20 accounts of identity fraud, 20 accounts of obtaining a prescription under the pretenses, engaging in a pattern of unlawful activity and possession of controlled substance. Not to mention... They said they found the weapon. I don't know what type of weapon they found in the house, but they found one. And he did all of this while he was on paper, on federal paper. Not even just that. Y'all got to remember, NBA Youngboy had took a picture with a cup full of lean with Zans laid all over the all over the floor. And his probation officer, his federal probation officer told him to quit using drugs and this little nigga specifically specifically told the probation officer no so that's like two red flags you got illegal activity going on within your clique and you promoting drugs on your page at this point my nigga you can't even you can't even feel sorry for a little brother because he know what he was doing. He was aware of everything that he was doing. Now the thing is, he was around a bunch of yes men. Can't no one, not one nigga told this nigga and his crew like, man, top, you shouldn't get in this. Let us handle this. You stay out of it. Y'all end up letting the bread want to crash out right after Ben 10 come home. Ain't that's mighty fun as soon as Ben 10 get out the feds, YB catch a federal charge. Now, here's the thing. I don't know how this going to play out because we talking federal now. This ain't got nothing to do with the state. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section about YB. Dr. YB getting locked up, man. Free that boy, man. I'm gone.